I'm going to show you two examples of adding together fractions with different denominators. This time both fractions need to be changed. I can't turn thirds into fifths. Three cannot be multiplied by any number to turn it into five or vice versa. So I'm going to have to choose a number that I can turn both three and five into. Now the first number that appears in the three times table and the five times table is 15. So I'm going to change both numbers into fifteenths. I turn this first fraction into 15 by multiplying by 5. So if I multiply the bottom number by 5, I must multiply the top number by 5 as well. 2 times 5 is 10. I change this number into 15 by multiplying by 3. So since I've multiplied the bottom number by 3, I need to multiply the top number by 3 as well. 4 times 3 is 12. Remember, 2 thirds is exactly the same as 10 fifteenths, and 4 fifths is exactly the same as 12 fifteenths. But now these are the same type of fraction, they're both fifteenths, I can add them together. 10 fifteenths and 12 fifteenths makes 22 fifteenths. Because this is a top heavy fraction, I can make a mixed number, and I should write that as my answer. Remember, 15 fifteenths makes one whole one. I have enough to make one whole one. But if I use up 15 fifteenths, that leaves me with 7 fifteenths left over. And there's my answer. This time I'm going to do an example of subtraction of fractions with two different denominators. Here I have 5 sixths and I'm going to subtract 3 quarters. I can't do this straight away because the bottom numbers are not the same. I need to turn them into a common denominator. The first number that comes in the 6 times table and in the 4 times table is 12. So I'm going to turn them both into twelfths. Because I've multiplied 6 by 2 to make it into 12, I need to do the same to the top. 5 times 2 is 10. Because I've multiplied 4 by 3 to make it into 12, then I multiply 3 by 3 as well, and that gives me 9. Now I've turned the two fractions into the same kind of fraction, I can go ahead with my subtraction. And of course 10 take away 9 is 1, so I have 1 12th as my answer.